Everything from walking to exercising to our normal everything moves impacts the largest and one of the most active yet vulnerable joints on our body. We're talking about this guy right here, the all important knee. Our guest this morning is an expert on knee mechanics. I want you to meet Dr. Vinod Dasa, Assistant Professor of Orthopedic Surgery in New Orleans, Louisiana. Welcome to the show, Doctor. Thank you, good morning. Good to see you this morning. I have to tell you, almost everybody I know, I mean, my husband included, people of all ages have experienced some sort of issue with the knee. What gives? <laughs> you know, one of the problems is as we get older and we become more active, we, develop, we begin to develop arthritis of the knee. Oh. And arthritis is wearing away of the cartilage in the knee. And so if we look at this knee model right here, what I can show you is what typical arthritis, uh, a normal healthy cartilage looks like. So this is normal? So this is normal. Okay. And you imagine nice, smooth, white, shiny cartilage. So the analogy I give to my patients is, imagine if you think back to Thanksgiving, you snap open the turkey joint, you see that smooth, white, shiny stuff. That's cartilage. That's good, healthy cartilage. Now imagine if I, we, that started wearing away. If I took a fork maybe and started scraping it away, yeah. that's arthritis. And unfortunately, over time, as we maintain our activity level, that cartilage oh. can completely wear out to the point where we're almost down to bone. Oh. And that's when things really start getting painful and be getting swollen and uh, patients start having difficulty. But there's a huge lead up to that and there are a lot of interventions that we can do early on to hopefully help lower those symptoms and make the patients feel better. But you know, it's interesting. I said in the intro, we put a lot of pressure on our knees. I mean, they get us where we have to go. We've got to walk. But when you talk about aging and repeated kind of strenuous activity, it does get to be a big much. I want to start with the basics here, there, here sure. now, though, since you are the expert. The basic mechanics of the knee, how does it work? So the knee is a fairly complex joint, but in general, I think most people can understand that the fact that it's uh, basically a hinge okay. and over time as we walk and that cartilage begins to wear out we start having more and more pain and just like you know the tire on your car the more you use it the faster it wears out mm. and so you know we we have to take uh, if we want to maintain an active lifestyle there are interventions that we can do to try to help patients all right so osteoarthritis or OA really is a growing concern and I want to read these statistics to you very quickly if I could this is according to the Centers for Disease Control one and two Americans may develop symptomatic knee OA in their lifetimes? Yeah, it's One a, in two? It's a big problem. And actually what's even more of a sobering statistic are the number of knee replacements they're doing because of knee arthritis. If we look right now as orthopedic surgeons, we're generally doing about 600,000 knee replacements a year. That's a lot. It's huge. And we're about to jump as we, as the baby boomers age, by about 2030, that's projected to be about 3.5 million knee serious? replacements. It's a problem. It's a problem. All right, so we've got this problem, but how do we know we have a problem? What are some of the common signs and symptoms of osteoarthritis? That's a great question. So a lot of patients don't realize and don't understand what the signs and symptoms are. They just kind of blow it off and say, well, oh, my, my knees are hurt, no big yeah. deal. And so typically the signs and symptoms are swelling. They'll have stiffness when they sit for long periods of time. They'll have trouble either getting up from a couch or walking up and down the stairs. They'll have trouble walking long distances over time. Uh, and oftentimes the, the knee pain is localized to the knee, but on occasion some patients will feel the pain shooting down their leg a little bit from the knee. Mm -hmm. So there's very subtle signs that start developing even at younger ages that most patients don't realize. Because they think I'm young, there's, no, there's nothing wrong with my knees. That's right. And if you realize at, at an early stage that you know maybe you have some knee arthritis, there are hopefully some interventions that we can do to try to help you out and maintain that active lifestyle. All right, so once it's been determined that you do have OA of the knee, you know, what are some of the treatment options? So we've got nutraceuticals, things like glucosamine chondroitin and some other uh, plant extracts. Then we go on to more complex medications such as anti-inflammatory medications. Those have issues with them in terms of developing ulcers and they can raise your blood pressure and a few other issues. Then we can move on to injections, and that typically would be a cortisone injection. Uh, however, there's some new technology, new uh, medications out there that we can use called hyaluronic acid, which really, I think, makes a difference, especially in early arthritis, if we can uh, catch those patients earlier. And ultimately, I think what everyone tries to avoid, but why I'm in business, is knee replacements oh. and knee surgery. All right, I have to tell you so much good information. Can you stick around with us here for a bit? Absolutely, Don't want to let you go just yet because when we return, more discussion on osteoarthritis of the knee and we'll also go in depth on hyaluronic acid injections. So stay with us.
Hello again, everybody. Now, before the break, we were discussing osteoarthritis of the knee with Assistant Professor of Orthopedic Surgery in New Orleans, Louisiana, Dr. Dasa. Welcome back. Thank you. All right, so earlier you were talking about hyaluronic acid, and I have to tell you, I've heard about hyaluronic acid in face creams and all that sure. stuff, but we're talking about hyaluronic acid injections in the knee. What exactly is it, and tell me how it works. So hyaluronic acid's been around for a while, like you said, and we've used it in a lot of areas of the body, and what well, researchers discovered was was that normal knee fluid is actually significantly made up of hyaluronic acid. And as we get older and as we age, the quality and the concentration of that hyaluronic acid in the knee diminishes. Mm. And we think that that relates to knee pain and knee problems. Mm -hmm. And so as arthritis progresses, that hyaluronic acid begins to degrade in quality. And so we've got an opportunity where we've got injectables, like such as Suparts, that we can inject into the knee to try to help replenish that normal hyaluronic acid and try to help relieve the pain that patients have from knee arthritis. All right, so how many injections are we talking here and, and how do you make that determination? So commonly we give injections either every week for three weeks or every week for five weeks, but ultimately I think it's a decision between the physician and the patient to decide what they think the most effective and optimal treatment is for that patient. Mm -hmm. And I know that you were telling me about a personal story. Was it a Marine who was um, having some issues with That's his right. knee? That's right. So recently, about a few weeks ago, I had a Marine uh, that he's about 30, 35 years old. He was about to get deployed to the Middle East. And he was telling me, you know, Doc, I can only play volleyball for four hours a week. I used to play every day. And he said, you know, my knee is hurting me. And so, you know, we got x-rays and we examined him. And I think he just had some early arthritis and that was why his knee was getting a little swollen and why it was a little painful. And I think really affecting his volleyball, which he so dearly enjoyed to play. And so we gave him the Suparts injections once a week for three weeks. And he went back to playing volleyball four hours a day. And he came back and said, this really changed the quality of his life. And I think in these younger patients, especially with early arthritis, these injections can make a very big difference in their quality of life. Well, it was important having you on the show because really insightful information. And thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks a lot. Pleasure to meet you. And to learn more about osteoarthritis of the knee and explore treatment options for yourself, visit the website www.myneeandme.com.